Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. How so? And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. To do what? Keep the charge of the Lord thy God. So to show ourselves a man, we have to walk after the ways of God. We have to walk after the ways of the Lord. Because Christ told you, I am the Alpha and the Omega. We have to come back to being Alpha men. Now betas. As a man, a Israelite man, you so-called blacks and Hispanic men, Native American men, we have to be alphas. My brother, how you doing, man? I'm glad you was over, man. My name is Ariel. What's your name? Jay. Brother Jay. Brother Jay. Nice to meet you, Brother Jay. Oh, okay, we've been out here for a while, right? That's Brother Jay in the house, right? We are Israel United in Christ. That's our organization. We are Bible-based movement. We come out here to teach our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, that we are the Israelites. We are the God's chosen people. But we are the Israelites. We are a nation of people. Uh -huh. I know our, our people floods and philosophies and things like that, right? right? But under the masonry, they say make a good man a better man. Let me show you what makes a good man a better man right here. Read that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. You have to fear God. And keep his commandments. Keep his what? Commandments. Keep his what? Commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So what's going to make a good man a better man, Jay? The word of God. Alright, so I'm going to read some commandments to you. Let's go, let's go to Leviticus chapter 19. Because that's what's going to make a good man a better man. But that's a, cause that's a, uh, a broad statement. Okay. You know my middle name? My, my middle name is completely different. All praise to the Most High. A prince that has that power with God. Not these philosophies, not these ideologies. This is what's going to give you power with God. So, I'm making a good man a better man. To be a good man, to make a, a good man... I'm sorry. I'm, uh, to be a better man, what must you do? This man right now. This man right now. I need you to say it though. Why? Keeping the commandments. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you the commandment right now, Jay. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shalt thou mar. The corners of thy beard. Read 21 and 5. I like that one. 21 and 5. Leviticus 21 and 5. This ain't the same thing. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their heads. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Now read that from the top. They shall not make baldness upon their head. We talk about making a good man a better man, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. We're reading it all right now. It says... You should not mark, you not shave the corner of your head. You need to shave you do what? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Shave off the corner of their beard. So I'm looking at you right now, and you don't have a beard. And I can tell you can grow one, but the Lord says you're not supposed to shave your beard. You're not supposed to shave your beard. This was making a good man a better man. You read the law. You're not supposed to shave your beard. So that's one law to make a good man a better man have your beard because when you look at the beard when you examine the beard it's a form of manly dignity because a beard represents a man because only men can grow beards that's why Aaron takes on that's why Aaron beard is so strong you know that Aaron say again Aaron Aaron that's why his beard is so strong his beard is so strong he's not just pushing down his beard is so strong he's going to stop all types of things like that he has to be he's going to stop the different things he's going to get to his body he's going to stop that's what we understand if we read 
the law. He said, keep my commandments. This is your whole duty of a man. So our duty is to keep God's commandments. So that's a commandment. We're not supposed to shave our beard. So as a man, as a godly man, as an Israelite man, we have to have our beard. He has a beard. I have a beard. That brother right there has a beard. And hey, you should have a beard too. That's what makes a good man a better man. By being, by standing up as a man. Being a man. Looking like as a such. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be father. Be father. How far you want me to read? Okay, so. The beer was in there. Like, as a doctor, you didn't mean like, you didn't mean like faith. You didn't mean like faith. Let's go to the other piece up there. Or to the other piece that you had before. Let's see if that's an interpretation or if that's actual beer. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. You shall not round the corners of your head, neither shalt thou mark the corners of thy beard. You got about to be mark the what? Corners of thy beard. Why, Mark? Corner. Corner of your beard. Meaning, the corner is an ending and starting point. So, where your beard starts right here, when the sound burns, you're not supposed to destroy that. You're not supposed to mar that. You're supposed to therefore have a beard. That's the law. Jay, that's the law. Say again. You can actually read the Old Testament. So what which means the Testament? Right. We are in the Old Testament. Leviticus is the Old Testament. Oh yeah. Right. Well let's show you the New Testament. Did God change? Hey, read so Second Samuel ten and five. The, the, the Second Samuel ten and five. Right. I got you. The, the liberal of how to So do you agree that that's talking about the actual beer? No. What's it talking about there? I don't even know what actually means. I'm talking about, uh... It's talking about a beer, bro. Yeah, yeah, but 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 yeah, how does a, uh, having a beard translate to how a code of life then? How does having a beard on your face translate to a code of life, as you just stated? Um, In relation to the beard though, we're talking about the beard though. Because you said that's not literally what, the, what that means. Okay, read, read two chapters before that. Before Leviticus chapter 19 verse 25 And in the fifth year shall ye eat of the fruit thereof That it may yield unto you The increase thereof I am the Lord your God Ye shall not eat anything with the blood Neither shall ye use encampment Nor observe time hey, Put up here to the, Put up close to the line Put up in here Put up in here Put up in here Cause you don't have a beer brother You're not going to beer going to the guy now read it from uh, verse, uh, 20, uh, verse 27. Read that again. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. So as a man, we're supposed to have a beard on our face. Because the beard represents a badge of manly dignity. Right. The beard represents manhood. Because guess what? When we was all kids, as young boys, we used to always take shaving cream and put it on our face and act like we were shaving. Why? Because that's what men do. Even though we're not supposed to be shaving, but nonetheless, that was a badge of bad dignity. We was mimicking how to be a man. The Lord said we're supposed to have a beard. It goes in, the beard represents masculinity. Because it's not a whole lot of masculinity going on today. Today, the men are not, have been feminized. That's why you have men like uh, Jamie Foxx that wear dresses. That's why you have men like Tyler Perry who wear dresses trying to emasculate the men. But when we go come back into taking back our manhood, when we go go back, come back to showing ourselves as men, let's go to First Kings chapter two. Where you go? I thought he was coming back. What was that crap he said? Where the bad, the man, the bad, the, the, the beard represents a form of life. When I asked him, he could explain that. That didn't make no sense. He said, that's a good question. You said it. I'm asking you. You damn right that's a good question. 
question because you ain't got the answer. First Kings 2 and 2, how about that? First Kings 2 and 2. Yes, the book of First Kings, chapter 2, verse 2. I go thy way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. So we have to show ourselves as men. We have to show ourselves as men according to the Bible. What's a man according to the Bible? What is a man according to the Bible? Read. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. How so? And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. To do what? Keep the charge of the Lord thy God. So to show ourselves a man, we have to walk after the ways of God. We have to walk after the ways of the Lord. Because Christ told you, I am the Alpha and the Omega. We have to come back to being Alpha men. Now betas. As a man, a Israelite man, you so-called blacks and Hispanic men, Native American men. We have to be alphas. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.